What the hell is that sound? Did you guys hear that? Keep walking. Keep walking, bud. You guys hear that weird sound? He's gonna walk up here instead and hack like that didn't happen. Oh, crap. <gasps> Run, guys! Run! Oh my god, it's gonna chase him down! No way! Did they kill him? So, we have a new feature that we can actually use in the aisle, but said new feature does not have a weapon. I also have a ton of information from the aisle's programmer, Deathly Rage, for a change. And, uh, console people, you've been asking me for ages. Is the aisle going to come to console? Is the aisle going to be coming to console? I probably have thousands of comments of people asking me the exact same question. Is the aisle going to come to console? Well, I spoke with Deathly about this. I asked him in-depth questions about it. And the short answer that I'm allowed to give you guys, it is a strong possibility that the aisle will come to console. I don't have an ETA. I don't know when it's going to happen. But his exact words are, I can mention that it is likely it will come to a console, meaning maybe Xbox or PS4. Not sure what one or maybe even both. Not sure yet, but he explained that that's why they have con er, controller support right now, which I've explained to you guys in the past. Like, I suspected something to do with consoles happening because we had controller support. We could use controllers, and, well, that confirms it because they have controller support. It's a work in progress, but it's not only good for people who are disabled or prefer to use a controller, but it's easier if they want to do a console version in general. So, I just hit my microphone. I am so sorry, headphone users. So, that's your answer for now. It is extremely likely that it will come to console, and, well, I hope it does come to console. So you guys are using Xbox or PS4 or anything can, can get on and, and do stuff. Anyways, we have to move into the mercenary, because we can choose to be a human. Now, I do have information about the human from Deathly as well. I also have a dev interview planned and in the works. Oh, the recording feature is working. That's cool. Uh... There's no third person, I don't think. But I don't have a weapon either, which kind of sucks. I wish I did have a weapon, but I'm only on my private test server anyways, just to check this out and take a look at it. I don't think we're going to take fall damage if we jump down here. Yeah, no. And it looks like our player thinks he's holding the gun when we jump, because you can see he's like, oh god, I have my air gun with me. I don't... I, it's so weird because they have so much stuff to bring in with the human, and there's so much stuff that they have to throw in right now for humans to work. And unfortunately, guns aren't one of them. And guns are probably the primary thing with humans and, and what they can do in the wild. But I can move into some information about them from Deathly directly and explain to you guys some things about them. Give me a second to decide what I want to do with this. And we'll move from there. Oh, this is, this is kind of freaky. Hang on. Do I have like a trot and walk feature? Yes, I do. I do. I think- I feel like they should slow it down. They should just make it like a calm walk in the woods and you're holding your weapon or something when you press Z. And you press Z again and you start draw a jogging. Right now it's kind of like we're doing a slow, brisk jog. And then you start, you know, full out like, okay, time to start jogging, you know, whatever. Yada yada. Wow. Look how tall the grass is. It's so weird because the aisle is a third person game as you guys know. And then playing as something in first person is so different. It makes everything look way different. Like, in this field, if this was a multiplayer server, there could be Utah Raptors in there. Even Velociraptors would be dangerous. And then they could be hiding out in here. We're seeing things in a different perspective that we haven't seen them in before. Besides, like, the dev streams with the human and first person and stuff. Now, you'd have your weapon and stuff on you, obviously. Um, by the way, this skin that we're using right now, there is a chance that it will be changed. Uh, this might not be the finalized skin. So they might completely change it. They might not. They might have some model work to do. I'm not 100% sure on that either. Holy crap. I can't get over the sense of scale. Look how big the bushes are. Just crawl in through here and hide. Oh my god. Like you're well hidden too. Like if you can't see out very well. Well then things can't see in very well. Unless they're looking from a top down perspective. God that is so cool. I need. They need like breathing effects. For when you run. So, like, you can tell when you're out of breath, and other dinosaurs can hear that. Um. Oh, there's water here. Okay, yeah, this is where the water starts. Crouching down isn't too different. Run through here. This is cool. I'm going to go into the spectator cam feature real quick, and I, I just want to see what it looks like with a human running around and stuff, and see what they do. 
Sorry guys, I can't actually get any footage of the mercenary in the camera view. I just tried for about 20 minutes. I couldn't even find the human. It's either too small or I just can't find it. And yes, I tried using the camera feature that will switch it to spectator mode between creatures and I, I didn't even pop up on the list. So, um, I don't know if that's been added or not, but either way, we are on an official server now. And I'm surprised, but we can actually play as a human on the official servers. Now this is the Isle Official US 4. So we're literally going to be trying to survive against creatures that have been progressing in survival. So we have to be super cautious and super sneaky. We have no weapon. So it would kind of be like the scenario of like a civilian. I don't know, finding their way onto the island or they crash land into the island. And it's like a Jurassic Park situation basically where you have to basically survive as long as you can. You can't eat, you can't drink, nothing really you can do except survive. Literally, all you can do is survive. I don't even know if we can die right now or not. But hopefully, uh, hopefully we won't die. Hopefully we can't because we're just too good at playing as a human. Anyways, I know you guys are probably wondering. Yep. Yeah, mm-hmm. Yeah, I, I totally agree with you, bud. Just gonna stay away from you too. Uh, so you guys are probably wondering what happened to the official Isle Discord server. Why is it not on your list anymore? I'm sure there's thousands of you wondering, actually. And I actually have a statement from, uh from Deathly right now, and they're waiting to get the server back up. It's down, but not intentionally down, hopefully within a couple days. Um, if they have issues getting it back up, they'll be setting up a new one, basically. I don't know what happened to their server or why it's down. Um, I'm not in it either. I'm not in any of the servers anymore that the Isle had. I don't know if it was human error or if one of the accounts were compromised. I have no idea. I have no idea what would have happened to the Discord servers or why they went down, but it's not, it's not intentional, said so by the devs, and it's not I don't know. I, I don't know what the deal is with it. I don't have a new server I could tell you guys to join unless you want to join my server and I can give you guys a heads up or something on there. But um, otherwise, I don't know uh, if they have anything that they can bring it back with or if it will be back because... I want to see what this Rex looks like actually close up or not close up, but like... Oh my God. Hang on. Yo, there it is right there. Oh, oh my god, it's so freaky seeing it in first person view. We move really fast, I feel. That's too bad we don't have a UI either. I wish we did. But yeah, that's the information on the Discord server for now. If I do find out anything else, I'll let you guys know for sure um, what the deal is with that. Oh my god, the Rex is so huge. Why am I following around a Tyrannosaurus Rex? Keep going, little guy. You keep going. Oh my god, it's so crazy. I gotta watch out for you, Raptors, though. Those are gonna be the real threat. I think he's, gonna, he's probably gonna be long gone. Yeah, he's going way up there. I think down there might be the waterfall. I'm, I'm not familiar with the section of the map. I suck at remembering the map. Anyways... They did have more information about the game and what's happen cur happening currently. And uh, regarding what's going on with the game right now, one of the core things they are trying to do to the game is add as much content as they possibly can. They don't care how finished it is or how polished it is, just as long as you guys can see results and we get things into the actual game to play with and mess around with for testing purposes. It doesn't matter how polished it is. This is why there is an early implementation of humans, which we're playing as a human right now with no weapon or anything like that. They're basically doing this because it's really hard to balance mechanics and performance if you were creating things and no one's testing any of it. And all of this stuff is being finalized and put in on its own without having, you know, like tribals and stuff into. They need to make sure everything's going to work together and make sure that everything's going to be in a suitable, suitable situation via power, I guess, and nothing's going to be too overpowered. If that makes sense. Rexy's still walking on down there. You can see how fast a dinosaur is compared to a human trying to keep up. And we don't even have Stam. Like, imagine when we have Stam and we can only run for so long. Mr. Rexy is long gone. And I don't even know where he's gone. I don't even see him on my screen anymore. But yeah, the reasoning they have is because it's really hard to balance mechanics and performance if you were creating things on their own, basically. Um, 
A decision they have made about how many AI dinosaurs they have could affect how many replicated scent particles they have too. Something like something about scent or something like that, um, which could affect how we design and implement humans. So humans obviously have their own scent. I forgot about that crap. Playing as a human isn't going to be a good time if you get locked onto by a velo or a Uteraptor and it sniffs you out. Oh boy. But anyways, basically everything has to go in at once. Humans, tribals, AI dinosaurs, scent survival, nesting, and other mechanics. Then they will take their time, polish them up, and have them at a high quality. Humans are going to get some movement fixes, some new animations, maybe a new model, prone swimming, and then they will be adding in an inventory system, crafting loot, and weapons and findable ammo. So there is a lot still planned in the works as of current they they just have to basically code this stuff and then put it into the game but i like the pace that they've changed it to where they're going to put this stuff in early for us to see how it's going to play in game and then they're going to give us updates to it and modify it and change things up a bit i think it's a very it, i think it's a much better way to, to approach the game because i mean realistically they don't have the biggest bug testing team uh and i mean having these things out to the general public early it shows there is stuff happening with the game rather than waiting like three or four months for one feature rex is still up there what rather than waiting three or four months for one feature we're getting these things in way faster so we can mess around with them in real time as they're being updated and changed oh yeah 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 carnotaurus carnotaurus i can't call i can't buy bah, 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 bah. Okay. Yeah. I don't know why I defaulted to bang at him. See how fast that thing ran up on me? Oh god, is it gone? No. Alright, let's keep going. I'm lucky that guy didn't want to eat me. God. Ooh. I can't believe how fast that thing came up on me too that's scary like you would have no time to react as a human if something was running up on you like that so any of you that are wondering why humans haven't been put in with guns yet it's because they need to have an inventory and loot spawning system in that is perfect because if a bullet in the right spot can kill a rex with one shot they have to do it in the right way so it doesn't ruin the game because guns kill obviously dangerous you don't want to spend hours getting to a rex only for a player to literally spawn in with the rifle and ammo and shoot you down from like a spawn zone or something because they got all of this stuff instantly that can destroy you and all the progress you've made that would kind of suck it kind of makes sense to me that they don't have weapons in for humans yet i kind of wish we had like at least a pistol or something that did a little bit of damn h what is that is that a body what is that Oh, there's two bodies up here. Where am I on the map? I'm trying to figure this out. I'm going to go up on that hill after I check out this body. I wonder if we'll be able to harvest meat from dinosaur corpses. That'd be kind of cool. Is this Maya? No, this is a Juvie Rex. Oh, this poor guy. I'd be so frustrated. Yeah, it's a Juvie Rex. Look at how big it is compared to us. Wow, that looks amazing. All right, I'm going to run up here. I'm going to see exactly where I am. All right. Oh, this is, uh, this is spawn. Holy crap. Everything in the perspective of a human is so much different. Let me just jump down here. I want to see. Ooh, yeah. I agree with you, bud. Oh, yeah. I see multiple things up here. There's a bunch of Rexes. There's Rexes patrolling around the area. We got a Rex down there eating. This must be some kind of zone for like a clan or something or people that are controlling this server now look at that there's so many oh don't come up here oh you can hear the footsteps too I just want to try and get close to them oh my god please don't hurt me please don't hurt me I could hide inside a corpse like I could literally hide inside a corpse prone Oh, by the way, just so you know, that tweet that we put out, that we, or the tweet that they put out that we got to 1,000, which we, we freaking smashed the goal, so you guys are awesome. We smashed the goal of 1,000 retweets and 1,000 likes on that tweet. Um, the announcement is going to be coming 
because of the whole Discord fiasco and them having to try and work and get it back from the from the servers, because I put them in contact with some Discord developers because I'm sponsored by Discord, so I have access to talk to the actual people that created Discord. Um, I put them in contact with them. I assume they're trying to get the server back now, and they're working with Discord staff to have that happen, basically. But because of that, the whole giant reveal had to be delayed, and they have just other things that are a little bit more important. But it's going to be a big reveal regardless. On the bright side, at least we can confirm that uh, the developers are going to meet uh, IRL and do some uh, do some stuff and work on the game. I don't know if that means they're starting their own game studio, but I do know the devs are going to work together in person. Now, do I still run on water? Am I still a Jesus fish? Let's see. No. Oh no. Oh oh no. I I I, I swim. I don't. I'm not. I'm not 100% buoyant anymore. I thought I'd run on water. You know what? It's okay. We'll get away out of here. Hiding by a body probably isn't the smartest move I've ever done. Let me go up here. <gasps> the Juvie Rex. Down there. There's a dead Rex right there, so... Possibly the parent of that juvenile that's been... Orphaned, it seems, because it has no parents around. Why are there so many Rexes? Oh my god. Players are going to have a better time playing as a Uteraptor instead of a Rex on survival. They're easier to play, smaller, and more agile. It's not going to be a situation where bigger is better. As players are currently assuming this. Rex might have its own things. It's good at like attacking human bases, but running after small agile humans isn't one of them. Smaller dinosaurs are going to be a lot stronger when it comes to ch chasing down humans. Bullets will have accurate physics and bullet drop and wind and all of those cool aspects. And there's going to be a flashlight so uh, or a shoulder mounted uh, flashlight players can find in game and equipped. I like the shoulder mounted idea more. I'm going to go see hi to these guys maybe. They kill me though. Oh, whoa. What, are you what the hell was that crackling? More Rexes. Okay, it's a good thing I didn't go down there because they have a parent going down there. Now. What is that? Is that a baby Carno? Let me just see. That's a baby Carno. Sounds like a hatchling Carno, actually. What the hell is that sound? Did you guys hear that? Keep walking. Keep walking, bud. You guys hear that weird sound? Like, I'm, no, I'm serious. I've, I've never heard that sound before. That was a weird sound. That was like a sound I've never heard. Unless a baby has a new call. I'm going to have to amplify that on my edit. Hey, edit Thomnia. You should definitely turn that weird sound you heard up. So people can hear it. Because it's the weirdest thing I've ever sound or ever sound ever heard. Something down there. He's looking at me. Nope. Just going to run up here. You don't see anything. You don't see anything. I feel like a tribal of anything. That. What is that sound? Wait. What? What? Is that another human? Did I just see another human? Did he, he just pull off a, uh, a Lion King? Hey. Hey, buddy. Hey. Hey, bud. Bucko. Let me just come up here. I'm going to see if I can meet up with this guy. Gah. I mean, on the bright side, I can jump off this and survive. Right there. Is that a human? I thought I just saw him. Hey, buddy. Hey, I saw you. I'm friendly. Come out. With your hands... No, I'm kidding. I don't have a gun. Hey. Bud. Come on. I saw you go in there. Do we have a human chat? Hey. Hey. Oh, sh Oh. Oh, it's a baby Utah. 
Hi. It was your mom. Not gonna go near you at all. I know what happens in Jurassic Park. <laughs> Just gonna walk up here instead and act like that didn't happen. Oh, crap. <gasps> Run, guys! Run! Oh my god, they're gonna chase him down! No way! Did they kill him? Is he alive? Did <gasps> oh, there he is. Go! Okay. Uh, don't get that close. Don't get that close. I see you. Run, little guy! Oh, dude, you look cool as hell. Look at this guy. <laughs> he doesn't even know I'm here. Hi. Oh, yeah! Oh, God! Uh, uh. Go! Oh, God! No! No, 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 no! No, no! Play nice! Play nice! Play nice! Oh, God! Uh. Uh, okay, just gonna run up here. Uh. Please don't hurt me. Please don't hurt me. Don't kill my friend. Leave my friend alone. Hey, what's up, man? How you doing? <laughs> yeah, good times all around. Okay, that's cool. I don't. Need, can we take damage? I don't. I don't know if we can or not. Ah, just run. Just run. We don't make any sound when we move, too. That's good. God, that was freaky. Never gonna do that again. Definitely gonna do that again. That was fun. Found a baby Utah. It was so cute and adorable. But did he bleed out? What happened to him? I saw blood. Blood usually means bad things. Oh, my friend's up here. Hey! Hey! Wait for me! Wait for me! Don't jump down there yet! Please don't jump down there yet! Let me get a good screenshot of you. Ooh! 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 Okay! Ooh! Got that weird bug where the camera freaks out. Yeah, we should be safe up here, bud. Hey? Yeah, we're gonna be okay. If you guys want me to play through uh, as a human and just see how long I can survive with a friend, let me know in the comment section below. I think it'd be kind of cool to do. Now, as far as humans and their weapons, I, uh, I can confirm there's gonna be assault rifles and shotguns, but I can't really say exactly what else. Um, you will also be able to tor- Okay, there will be a torch you can equip. Yada yada yada, and also a light, which is pretty effective. All right, you guys get the general idea of it, though. Um, but there's nothing else I really have for you. Look at the radio on his skin. That's kind of cool. I like that. And his gas canisters and stuff. Like, if I, I have a combat knife, why can't I just pull that out of my, my armor and use that? I have grenades on me. I'm completely ready to go. Like, I am 110% ready to battle. And, yeah, exactly, bud. And yet... <laughs> and yet, I don't have anything. I should be able to at least stab a baby in the in the head. <laughs> stab oh my god, that sounds so much worse than I actually intended it to be. Oh god. <laughs> Hello, baby Rex. How you doing? Yeah, yeah, that's right. Can't hurt me. Oh, but they can. Let me just hide inside your body. No one will know I'm here. No one knows I'm here. Ooh, we don't even have collision with them. That's great. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Yeah. Gonna run away now. Gonna act like that didn't happen. Awkward moments with the juvenile baby Tran Tranosaurus Rex. Yeah. Just gonna run up here. I'm gonna run. I'm gonna run up here with my human friend. Why are your arms back like that? Wish we had like an in-game voice chat. That'd be great. I think that's something I need to work on next. Hi. Anyways, guys, I think that is it for this video on the aisle for now. Seen some cool stuff, man. I've seen oh bye. See you later, bud. I'm gonna jump down with you. We're gonna run into the wild. Just like what humans do. Or something like that. I don't know. Anyways, guys, leave a like if you did enjoy this video. Let me know your thoughts down below on everything you have learned. About, okay, I thought he just crouched down in the, in the bushes. Uh, about humans, and let me know if you want to see consoles being used to play the aisle. I think this game would be great with consoles, especially playing as a human. People would probably love that, to be honest with you. But that's it, and I will see you in the next video.